Hey, it's Keisha. Did you guys know that 72% of the population has no idea that there's mercury in their metal fillings? These are also called amalgams. I was one of the people that didn't know that. Mercury is a neurotoxin. They're putting these metal dental fillings in our mouth, near our brain, and trying to say that it's not dangerous. But people are getting sick, and I was one of them. I got sick. I'm not saying that the medical professionals are evil. They've been told by the Food and Drug Administration and the American Dental Association that the mercury is not really hazardous that they're putting in your mouth. But there's a reason why mercury thermometers are not so prevalent anymore. <coughs> it's bad for us. I was one of the people that got very sick from my mercury fillings and the doctors could not tell me what was the matter and my dentist had never heard of mercury toxicity. And I'm so happy to tell you that I'm better now and I'm getting better every day. I'm gonna tell you how I did it and maybe it can help you heal. It was just a year and a half ago. I was feeling terrible. I had chronic fatigue. I was irritable. I was so sensitive. All of my organs were like not working. My liver, my pancreas, my kidneys, I had ADHD, I had terrible brain fog. I couldn't read because I couldn't focus on the details anymore. I couldn't remember things. I was depressed, I was anxious, very isolated, antisocial, which is not like me. I've never been like that before. I was gaining weight, I had terrible vertigo. Everything would be spinning and no one could tell me why that was happening. I did not have veneers, I did not have any crystals in my ears. They're like, oh, it's just caused by stress, but it was happening all the time. The vertigo was crippling. I went from doctor to doctor. I went from specialist to specialist. I took all of these tests. No one could tell me anything. And I knew that I wasn't okay. And I was getting sicker and sicker. And they had no idea what was wrong with me. I was sharing my healing journey on Facebook, listing my symptoms, basically to tell people you are not alone and I don't feel good either and we can do it. And thank God I did that because someone, an old client actually, texted me and asked me if I had mercury fillings in my mouth. I said, no. But by the grace of God, I was going to the dentist the next day. Random? No. So I went to the dentist and I asked, do I have fillings in my mouth? I mean, I don't think so, but someone asked me yesterday. And I had three, three, three each one of them in my mouth since I was 10 years old. If you know me, you know that I always have a piece of gum in my mouth. Double bubble, Mentos, bazooka. Every time you chew gum, every time your tongue goes over those, every time you swallow and spit goes over them, every time you eat, every time you brush your teeth, a steady flow of mercury poisoning goes into your body into your brain, into your organs. It's why it makes us sick. My dentist didn't know anything about it, but the friend who texted me did because she was on her own chelation journey. Once I started researching, I realized that people with mercury toxicity, they have a lot of really messed up symptoms. Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, tremors, infertility, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, some of them are the same as mine. Memory loss, depression, anxiety, chronic fatigue is a biggie. And what I realized in my research is that a lot of these people who had these mystery illnesses, well, they were mercury toxic. And when they treat the mercury toxicity with chelation, which is pulling the mercury out of your body, then the symptoms of the mystery illness goes away. The Norwegian Supreme Court just recently awarded millions of dollars in damages to dental assistants who had been exposed to massive amounts of mercury because of amalgams and metal dental fillings that actually are 50% mercury. And these people were getting very sick. So Norway's coming around. Come on, America. People are being poisoned. Come on, American Dental Association. Come on, Food and Drug Administration. Come on, the United States government. Yes, there is a debate in the medical community and it's heated because not everybody believes that mercury and metal dental fillings
causes people to get sick. Big businesses would lose millions and millions and millions of dollars in lost business and in lawsuits. So the person who told me that I sounded mercury toxic, she told me how to get my mercury fillings out of my mouth by a biologist dentist, right? This is a mercury safe removal dentist. And then she also told me how to get the mercury out of my body by a protocol of a man named Dr. Andy Cutler. So step one was to get it out of my mouth safely. Step two was to get it out of my body and my cells safely. If you have metal fillings in your mouth, you want to get them out by a mercury safe removal dentist because the heat on the drill to the mercury will smoke more mercury into your body. In order to find a biologist dentist near you, go to www.iaomt.org. You will find someone who can help you to remove the mercury safely from your mouth. And if you have had your metal dental fillings taken out unsafely by a regular dentist who took no precautions, it's totally fine. It can be fixed. Go to the Andy Cutler Facebook page. There are people who worked with him on that site, people who chelated mercury so they know what they're doing for free. They will help you to detox from mercury. Andy Cutler had a PhD in chemistry from Princeton and he worked for NASA. He came up with a protocol after reading dense medical materials to heal himself after doctors couldn't help him. And once it worked, he gave it to other people. That's what I did. I did the Andy Cutler chelation protocol and it really, it saved my life. And also in blood tests, my pancreas is better. My insulin and sugar is better. My thyroid is better. My liver is so much better. In hair tests, the mercury that was in my body is down by half after a year of Andy Cutler's chelation protocol. And I feel like a new person, or really, I feel like the old me. And I'm just, my God, I'm so grateful. If you wanna learn more about this, read Dr. Andy Cutler's book, Amalgam Illness, and there's also a documentary that is super informative and amazing, and it's called Evidence of Harm. Also, there's the smoking tooth video, and the smoking tooth video shows you how mercury smokes off of an amalgam and goes into your lungs, into your brain. So thank you for watching, spread the news. Most important thing is you can heal. And so can I.